Life is a Dream by Pedro Calderon de la Barca. The main characters, or a summary of the characters of the play, is Basil, whom is the king of Poland, Segismund, whom is the prince or son of the king, Astolfo, Duke of Muscovy, Clotaldo, whom is the old man and general, Clarion, a comical servant, Rosara, a lady, and later on in the play is revealed to be Clotaldo's daughter, Stella, a princess, as well as soldiers, guards, musicians, servants, retunes, and women. The setting is mainly in Poland, but there is also a part, example in the beginning, where the setting is also in the countryside between Russia and Poland. A discussion of themes is that what pointed out to me was dream versus reality, deception versus truth, and the fact that life is very unpredictable, which is all shown, all three themes throughout the play. As a summary of the plot, in the beginning, Rosara and her servant are headed to the royal court on their journey, where Clotaldo stops them, notices Rosara's sword, which is of his own family line sword, and realizes or thinks that Rosara is his daughter. And because of this, he ends up struggling with whether or not to help them get through this land to continue their journey because as a general, he needs to stop them. But as his father, it is his duty as well to help them pass and guide them. Back at the royal castle, their trouble, there is trouble of deciding where or whom the throne is supposed to go to. The reason for this trouble is because the prince was supposedly dead, but is actually not dead, because the king isolated him as a child and imprisoned him in the mountains out of fear that when he grew up, he would become a monster being very violent and so on. And with pressing matters, the king decides to drug Segismund, the prince, and bring him to the castle to be evaluated to see if he is right for the throne. When Segismund wakes up after being drugged, he is in full royal attire and reacts as being surprised which is normal, and he is told of his father and basically the part of his life he had no idea about. With this happening, he vows revenge and attempts to kill Clotaldo out of anger. Luckily, though, for Clotaldo, Rosara enters and ends up stopping Segismund. The king then enters and sees what is going on and that his son has obviously not passed his test and ends up drugging him again and sending him back to prison. When Segismund wakes up, he remembers everything that had happened and he talks to Clotaldo about all this and Clotaldo ends up telling him that it was all just a dream and that he's kind of crazy. And because of... Segismund's entire life being in prison and the type of lifestyle that he has lived, he believes Clotaldo in that it was all just a dream. But then, all of a sudden, Rosara comes in and talks to Segismund and tells him that it was not a dream and that she would like him to go to battle with her and her soldiers against his father and their army in which this does happen and the battle only ends when king basil ends up giving his son his crown and as first act of being king segismund ends up allowing 
or approving of Rosara and Astolfo getting married. My personal opinion or views about this play was that there was a lot of mythological references that I thought were pretty interesting, but there was also some unique and detailed language and imagery that was used throughout the play that I also found interesting. I really enjoyed the plot of the play. One specific part that I favored was the reality of Segismund's famous lines. What is life? A delirium. What is life? Illusion. A shadow. A friction whose greatest good is nothing because life is a dream. Even dreams are only dreams. <laughs> 